Here we are now, entertain us! Is my hair messed up? <laughs> this is 90s Throwback Weekend. So take out your plaid flannel, ripped jeans, and Game Boy and find out how you can win the weekend. What's more 90s than boy bands? Head to Union Hall in Brooklyn on Friday to celebrate your love for NSYNC, New Kids on the Block, Hanson, and more. There's a boy band dance-off. You can win memorabilia and free drinks. Dress as your favorite boy band member, like the cute one or the bad boy. My favorite is the one that secretly drops out and gets replaced by another guy and no one in the band acknowledges it. Do you miss when it was cool to be grungy and pissed off? Relive those days at Nevermind, a 90s alternative pop party at the Knitting Factory in Brooklyn. DJs play all the biggest alternative 90s bands from Nirvana, Green Day, Pearl Jam, and Rage Against the Machine. With the lights out, it's less dangerous! This Saturday, throw back some drinks at the Chain Theater in Manhattan for their Pulp Fiction drinking game. Six comedians read the screenplay to this 1994 Tarantino classic and play every character. Different references or character actions will result in the actors yelling, drink! Fun fact, the F word is used 265 times in Pulp Fiction. If you take a shot every time they say the F word, you will literally die. Remember when Ross and Rachel were on a break? We all know Friends, the greatest TV show of the 90s. So test your knowledge of Central Perk at one of two Friends trivia nights this weekend at the Stone Creek Bar and McGarry's Bar in Manhattan. My Friends trivia fact, I'm a Joey. We're both extremely attractive young Italian-American actors. We have the same resume, we both starred in a staged version of Pinocchio, and we're fully clothed extras in an adult film. Plus, our tagline is, how you do it. What could be more nostalgic than hearing comics read their weird childhood journals in front of an audience? On Friday at the QED in Queens, you can dive deep into the past of former class clowns with this monthly dramatic reading of comedians' childhood journals. There's sure to be uncomfortable moments, crushes, and video game memories. As someone who's constantly mistaken for a teenager, I can say it's refreshing to look back on those things with my newfound sense of maturity. Dear Diary, I asked every girl in the locker room to be my best friend. They all thought that was a really weird time to ask. Now you have plenty of ways to bring back the 90s. So put on your chokers, step into your acid wash overalls, and feed your Tamagotchi before you head out to win the weekend. See you next week. Kisses. Oh, 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 oh,